So check this out guys. I was coming to make eye appointment today and then I can't get in here and park. There was a big truck. It's gone now. But who says nothing happens in Vegreville? Look at this. It's a brand new mural just being installed today. So I don't know how long it takes to put it up. I might come back and show you the finished result but this is pretty cool stuff. So, so those ribbons, um, they actually symbolize freedom. And I thought, well, that's really cool because we all know that the Ukrainian people yep, suffer, fighting. suffer freedom. oppression and, and you know, all that, right? Absolutely. And, um, so, and how they ever managed to come out of that and still hang on to their culture still, like, it's amazing to me. Oh, I know. They're able to do all that. So that is the big symbolism and that's the Vinok is, is floating over then, you know, where they had to come because they were you know, immigrating to a new country with, with new hopes. And so that's beautiful. So that's the idea of it, that it's, it's, it shows the freedom. And then I was also thinking, you know, those colors are very, the different colors can always be in the ribbons. I thought it was kind of like almost like our Olympic symbol too, right? Yeah. You know? And yeah. the Ukraine people have spread all through all the continents and, and that's the idea of unity. Oh, you know, even the Olympics. So I, that's my own little take because we have oh, quite a, a sport. Oh, there's a little sneak peek. Yeah. We have lots of sports, oh, uh, sporting beautiful. families. So I thought about that. And then I just, I wanted to have sort of a, a look of Vagerville underneath there, like kind of along, along the horizon. Yeah. Um, I love you historical even included, buildings. You included Holy Trinity Church, which is very <laughs> beautiful <laughs> landmark in this town. There's so. a lot of artistic, um, you know, it's not geographically. No, no. Completely, which is one of those kind Creative of walking maps. And yeah. I, I love the, it's just like, it's in a, Kit Scotty has a similar, the water tower that you yeah. used to have. And I did a whole lot of artwork. I did series of work on water towers. So I kind of thought I would like to have that. So I'll do this kind of smattering over the decades. So Beautiful. I still put in your, your elevators that you used to have in your community and then the water yeah. tower. And then I wanted the Ukrainian church and of course the Easter egg. Yes. And it just, it's just kind of this idea that if you knock, you know, it, it's protecting. Yeah in your community here and, and that you have that strong link to the Ukraine obviously and, uh, there's also symbolism of, of as well that it's um you know the female fertility the giver yeah, of life fertility yes, exactly. and purity and health yeah and and all that that you will continue within the circle of life and that to me Beautiful. I found all that out about the Vino so I really have to thank my cousin <laughs> Petro for, for doing that yeah right? know your cousin for Petro me out with that so. yes yeah. Is there a website that the town got a hold of you or how did you, I know you said you applied, but do you have a website where people can see other, you know, I don't have work? a website. Isn't that awful? I keep saying I'm going to have <laughs> one and, and everyone says, don't you have a website? No, and, um, no I actually, there was a, an artist call like, yeah. Um, and I saw the artist call for murals and, and because I'd already started doing some projects, involving my Ukrainian um, heritage, right. which a lot of that was actually taken away from me. Like yeah. my family didn't have it as much as I'm explaining about my cousin's family. So, yeah. um, no, a lot of people, Ukrainian families uh, yeah. chose, it was easier to assimilate and be more Canadian, more, yeah. and there's nothing wrong with that. You know, some families were able to keep it much stronger in their daily lives, but I think every person that has Ukrainian connections, it's always in their heart, Right. So always. That appealed to me just as another opportunity to express that and, yep. and, and look at my heritage again and learn about my heritage because, um, well, I know like my aunts and uncles, even my dad, like they all had their Ukrainian language, but when they went to school, they weren't yep. allowed to speak it. No, nope, exactly. And our, our name, as I explained a little earlier to you, it, it, it was anglicized, like it was changed at the immigration office. So, yeah. And whereas, you know, you can't, you know, all these, um, heritage.com or whatever and you're you looking up your family tree you can't find because that's not our name this i know exactly you yes know? same so problem so when you're going through the genealogy so yes i mean my dad's 100 percent ukrainian and, and my and they're the my cousin's family they're the keeper of all that so yeah so it, it really did help me bridge that and learn lots and i've got much more to learn about it was kind of exciting for me too at the same time as i was accepted for this call and and we knew you wanted the mural here in Vegreville. um 
say high of the head, I might not say it right, but <laughs> Ivana Kapala? Yes. Right, that yes. was The coming. day with the fire, you jump over the yep. fire over and the cleanse yourself, and, and the, guys and try the girls. to embrace the women, and they put their vinok down the river, exactly. and the guy that catches it, that's your date, <laughs> if she approves. Yeah, so yes. our, our dance troupe there in Saskatoon, they wanted to have a fundraiser, so they enacted all of that. Beautiful. And so that was so fun and exciting. Like we heard it on the news, they're announcing the event that was going yeah. on on the weekend. Malcolm was watching and he says, Bonnie, you gotta come here. They're talking about the thing you're gonna paint for yeah. Fingerville, the Dinoc, they're talking about it. I go, oh. And so we went and it was really fun and we did everything. Like the, the young men were out making their bonfire yeah. and chasing the witches out of yes, the- um, absolutely. Out of the bushes and um, watching or looking for a fern. Water. There's a certain Oh, flower. he needs you. Do you want me to take that, Malcolm? Just okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll just put down there and take it. <laughs> oh no, the wind's taking it. You, it you said you don't have a uh, website for your work, but what was uh, what's your official name that people could find you? Oh, um, yeah, my yeah. That's you always want to figure out what's going to be my artist name. So um, I go by just Bonnie Conley now. Bonnie but, Conley. Yeah, I used to go by Bonnie A Conley. That's just kind of I want I. Bonnie and Conley rhyme a little bit. <laughs> People kind so of is it so Bonnie, I wanted the A in there. So, uh, so if you looked up, if you Googled Bonnie A. Conley, you'd see things. And if you Googled Bonnie Conley, you'd see things. But uh, oh. I found that, um, you know, once you start showing your work in galleries and that, yeah. and you're working with people, and people just call me Bonnie. Bonnie. Conley, you know, so I just, that's what I go by. Just the Is it more so Bonnie place. Conley from where Saskatchewan? So I'm just, I live just outside of Saskatoon. We okay. live on an acreage and um, it's called Grasswood, my area. But um, nice. I'm, I'm a member of the Craft Council there, but like the Saskatchewan <laughs> Craft Council. Okay. And they have a very well organized uh, a members page. It's, it's fairly similar to the Alberta Craft Council too, but um, we all have our own site and we put pictures oh. there and you can see some things there. Okay, I will look that up and then, yeah, maybe yeah. I can find a link of that to yeah, share. Yeah, it's, it's so, very easy to so go So that basically there. is your website because it's on, it's, it's a members page on their website. That's right. Yeah. I have, I have given that out to people before for sure. And, um, yeah. Yeah, no, this is beautiful. So that's amazing that I was coming by to get an eye appointment and then Anya was here from the town and I got yeah. to meet you Bonnie and yeah. I I got a personal kind of step-by-step -step history from the artist's mouth herself this is awesome thank you what well, big great and like, the um like going back to the Ivana Capala it was yeah. so fun like I actually did know people because I teach in the Catholic system so you're going to run across a lot of Ukrainian Catholics. Yes, for and, uh, sure. So when we went out there to the park that day, but we did everything. Like I made my own vinok and they have a large swimming pool there so we put it in and of course my husband. When the guys came running out of the, the bushes, you know, to jump in and yeah. get a vinok to see who they're going to match up with. He's a fool and he goes in and grabs it. This one's mine. Oh my God. He was worried I might get matched with someone else. And, um, and you know, that's interesting. You said you teach in the Catholic school and there's a lot of Ukrainian Catholics. And it's funny because my, my husband's not Catholic. And then so when he met this Ukrainian Catholic weirdo lady, he's like assuming he knew stuff because of Roman Catholic people. You know, I said, no, 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 no. I said, Ukrainian Catholic is, is different. Yeah. yeah. Similar but different. And this Ivanka Paolo night is, you almost couldn't get more pagan ritual oh than my gosh that, yeah you know it was and a perfect example exactly and the ukrainian catholics they they took on the christianity okay. and stuff but they still insisted no there's this is us this is our culture you know and there's certain things that just will never change because they don't need to it's part of us it's our culture our heritage and it can all be combined in a in a happy synergy and it's just yeah. And they, yeah, the belief in magic and magical eating. Oh, absolutely, and, all that. and cleansings and yeah. purity and, and things like that. It's it's very universal and just I, I think Ukrainians do it with a lot of flair. There's nothing more macho than guys leaping over fire pits, you know. To <laughs> like, it's 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 a beautiful, beautiful culture. Yeah. So that that's really that's how it kind of came about, and it was just um, oh, they need you. 
by these, I can tell by these harsh shadows right now from the hard workers here. It is, it is really sunny to get a nice picture. So I'm going to leave you here, Bonnie, and I'm going to come back it's shiny, like a this shiny evening, marks, eh? and I'm going to get a nice still It'll picture nice. of this, yeah, and I'm yeah. going to tag it below the uh, video. But thank you so, so, you're so much Ukrainian for talking. 100%. To me. Oh, I'm Ukrainian, and your oh, husband yes. is too. No, he's a Viking. He's, oh, he's, he's a Viking. He's Denmark. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. I'm Baba, and he's Afi. We're raising oh, our two grandkids, okay. so I'm I'm a Baba through and through. Yeah, mainly That's Ukrainian, but a quarter Belarusian. So, right? Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna leave you here, and, and I hope you enjoy okay. your day in Vegreville. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm bye bye. Going to. I got lots of businesses. I gotta go buy meat. And oh, excellent! Coats. Yeah, you gotta go get some kubasa at the at the sausage shop for sure. Okay, thank you, Bonnie. Okay, bye bye. You.